The human body is constantly perceiving and responding to stimuli, both from the outside world and from within our bodies. The nervous system works with the endocrine system as hormones provide feedback to the brain and the brain influences hormone production in response to both external and internal stimuli. Both these organ systems are the communication links of the body and help the body's life systems function correctly in relation to each other. Let's take a more detailed look at each of these organ systems, starting with the endocrine system. The endocrine system is comprised of glands which secrete hormones into the bloodstream. The hormones then travel within the bloodstream to the target tissue, where they can exert their effect. The nine major endocrine glands. The hypothalamus is a structure in the brain that acts as the main control center of the endocrine system. It links the nervous and endocrine systems, responding to nerve signals from other parts of the brain, as well as to several different hormones. The hypothalamus produces hormones that regulate the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is located near the bottom of the brain and is often called the master gland because its hormones control several other endocrine glands. It consists of two lobes, each producing different hormones. One such hormone is growth hormone, which aids in the development and growth. The pineal gland is a small endocrine gland located in the brain that plays a role in the production of melatonin, a hormone that aids in the regulation of sleep patterns. The thyroid gland is an endocrine gland located in the front of the neck that produces thyroid hormones that help regulate metabolic processes, heat production, and the development and function of other organ systems. A parathyroid gland is one of four small endocrine glands located near or within the thyroid gland that release hormones to help maintain calcium and phosphorus levels in the body, which are important for bone development. An adrenal gland is one of two endocrine glands located on the top of each kidney, consisting of the medulla and the cortex. These glands release hormones that help regulate critical functions in the body, such as blood pressure. The inner portion, called the adrenal medulla, releases hormones such as epinephrine that increase heart rate and increase blood flow to the muscles. The adrenal cortex found on the outer portion of the gland helps control blood sugar levels, responds to stressful stimuli, and helps the kidneys regulate blood pressure. The pancreas is found near the stomach and small intestine. In addition to secreting digestive enzymes, it also releases hormones to help maintain healthy glucose levels in the body. If blood sugar levels are too high, the pancreas secretes insulin. If blood sugar levels are too low, the pancreas causes the release of stored glucagon. Finally, reproductive glands are also endocrine glands. The ovary aids in production of estrogen and progesterone hormones in females. Both hormones are important to maintain sexual traits and aid in pregnancy. The testes produce testosterone that helps with male development and the maintenance of male sexual traits. The nervous system, like the endocrine system, is essential to communication within our bodies. Multicellular organisms have complex nervous systems that allow signals to move between the brain and the body. These signals function to receive and process internal or external information and to control body responses. The nervous system is divided into two broad categories, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system consists of the brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system consists of nerves that travel from the central nervous system to the rest of the body. The brain is the control center, regulating internal responses to stimuli, controlling organism behavior, and maintaining homeostasis. It processes external information received from sensory organs, as well as internal information from hormone feedback. The spinal cord links the brain to the rest of the body through nerves of the peripheral nervous system. This is regarded as a neural highway where neural signals mediate the flow of information to and from the brain. 
the peripheral nervous system is further divided into two systems, the somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system. The somatic nervous system provides signals to and from the skeletal muscles. Most of the voluntary responses to signals in the environment are controlled by the somatic nervous system. For example, the process of catching a ball involves a variety of sensory signals and voluntary muscular responses. The autonomic nervous system plays a role in involuntary processes, such as heartbeats and digestion. The autonomic nervous system contains two sets of neurons with opposing effects on most body organs. These sets are known as the parasympathetic and sympathetic divisions. The components of the parasympathetic system helps the body conserve energy, described as a rest and digest response. For example, during digestion or when there's a decrease in your breathing rate. The components of the sympathetic system tend to have the opposite effect, preparing the body for energy consuming activities, described as the flight or fight response. This response is elicited under stressful situations, such as when you're being chased by a dog, or when you're under pressure to meet a homework deadline.